Matthew chapter 18, verse 10. Take heed that you despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you, that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father, which is in heaven. I want to give our praises and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Arka, Kodash, forgive me the spirit, to do this lesson. Now in this lesson we're going into, we will behold the face of the Father. We will behold the face of the Father, Yahweh. Okay, and that is a very, very special thought to meditate about, man. Okay, very, very special. Think about it, man. Yahweh, the Father, is responsible for all of this, man. Everything that's created. Okay, we understand and we teach very well here at GMS that Yahweh Shai was put up to create all these different things that you see. But who created him? The father. Okay, so the father set up the blueprint for everything of existence. Okay, things we see and things we don't see. All right. I mean, we've only seen but a few of his works. You can read that in Sirach uh, 42 chapter or 43 at the end. Okay, either one. All right, so we've only seen a few. So he is responsible for all of this. Okay, so to behold his face one day and actually see him up close and personal, man, <laughs> oh boy. I mean, talk about glory, glory, glory. All right. And even seeing Yahweh Shai, okay, which is a spitting image, the express image of Yahweh is a huge deal. Okay, but in this lesson, I'm talking about the Father directly. I'm talking about Yahweh in this lesson. Okay, but you always got to throw your house shine there because he is a mediator, man, for us to even, you know, for this to be possible. Okay. Now, if we talk about the angels, okay, and they see the father's face up close and personal, why wouldn't we? Okay, because we are going to be one with your how about your shine angels, man, the body of heaven. Okay, the family of heaven. We are going to be one with them, man. OK, we are going to be changed. OK, we're going to be going up there in the heavens and different planets. And, you know, like how should I say in my father's house of many mentions. OK, so we are going to witness all these things one day. OK, soon in the near future, man, because we're close. We are close. OK, let's go to Matthew chapter 10, starting at verse 33. But whosoever shall deny me. Before men, him will I also deny before my father, which is in heaven. Right. Okay. And Yahweh Shai is saying this. So when we talk about order, who is right next to Yahweh? Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Yahweh Shai is Yahweh's right hand man, the first begotten son. Okay. So he's right there. The angels are right there looking, talking. Worshipping and Yahweh Shai is right, right, right next to Yahweh, man. In that order, man. You have Yahweh Shai, then you have the elder 24 angels. Okay, and then you have all the angels outside of that. Millions and millions of angels. Think about that, man. <laughs> Imagine that sight. So to go up there and to be perfect and to be changed, man, that is special, man, to witness the throne, to witness. Yahweh on the throne himself. I mean, think about a conversation with Yahweh. <laughs> I mean, you can't even think that for, right? So it's amazing. Okay, so let's read it again. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my father, which is in heaven. Okay, so we know it starts with Yahweh Shai. All right, confessing Yahweh Shai on the earth. And sincerity to even have the privilege to be with Yahweh Shai, to go up there to even see the Father's face. All right? That got to be something else, but it's written in the scriptures. I'm going to get to it. It is written in the scriptures, the description. All right? Yahweh said it so, so we can meditate upon these things. He wants us to wonder, be like, hmm, 
man, that's, you know, he don't want us to guess and make up things and add to his word, but it's written down for us to think. Okay, let's go to Ezekiel. All right, and we know if you read Ezekiel, the first chapter, most of the chapter is talking about the angels. It's describing the angels, and then it goes from the angels, okay, to above the angels, a throne. Okay, let's start at verse 25. So Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 25. And there was a voice from the firmament that was over their heads, over the angels' heads, when they stood and had let down their wings. And above the firmament that was over their heads was the likeness of a throne. Okay, Yahweh's throne. As the appearance of a sapphire stone, and upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness as the appearance of a man above upon it. Okay, and we understand that Yahweh made man in his image. Okay, so he has the appearance of a man first before you know what a man is. Okay, but he's not a mortal man. Okay, he's the most high. He's Yahweh. Everlasting. Okay, the most powerful. Okay, so it's a huge difference when you talk about the appearance of a man. This appearance is like something else, man. A whole nother level of man. Okay, all right, as the appearance of a man. Okay, so for all you retarded people out there, he could be a woman, he can be okay, he can be a her too, right? No, 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 not at all. Okay, throw that out there. All right, but Ezekiel, the point is, is that Ezekiel, Yahweh allowed Ezekiel to see him. Do you see that? He allowed Ezekiel to see the vision. To even write this down for us to read. It's written down for us to read. Okay. Why else would it be written down? Not for us to act like it ain't there. No. I'm going to acknowledge it. Okay. And through the spirit. I'm going to tell you brothers and sisters out there. That we will be able to see it. Close and personal. We will be able to witness this man. The man that work. And is truth. And that is sincere. And that's thriving. You're going to be able to see the father, man. That is special. That is special. Okay. Verse 27. And I saw as the color of amber, as the appearance of fire round about within it. Okay. And you know how the angels are described as uh, a flaming fire, a lamp. And I know also in Psalms 103, I think, verse 4, the ministers, his ministers, as flaming fire okay so the angels are a direct extension okay from Yahweh Bashim Habashai man okay think about that a direct extension okay that's part of his glory all right but when the angels came on the scene and Jake would bow down they would say hey 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 I'm your fellow brethren okay you ain't seen Yahweh Bashim Shah. You ain't seen the Father. <laughs> you think you're looking at something here. <laughs> you ain't being up there. You really don't know. That's the true glory. Okay, I'm just a piece of his glory. That is the ultimate up there, man. Okay, so worship him. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to verse 27. It says, And I saw as the color of amber as appearance a fire round about within it, okay, as the appearance of fire round about, okay, from the appearance of his loins even upward, and from the appearance of his loins even downward, I saw as it were the appearance of fire, and it had brightness round about, right, man, okay, brightness round about, okay, imagine being there, witnessing that, man, and being perfect, Okay, finally being changed from this horrible body, man, this horrible flesh. Okay, and being at one, perfectly without one. You ain't got to worry about evil thoughts and wickedness and be separated at times in your mind. And you got to get back up from a fall. You ain't got to do none of that. You're going to be in perfect harmony, okay, with the body of heaven, with the family of heaven. Okay, being up there, man. Mm -mm -mm. That's something else. Okay, verse 28. As the appearance of the bow that is in the cloud in the day of rain, 
so was the appearance of the brightness round about. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of Yahweh. Come on, man. <laughs> and when I saw it, I fell on my face and I heard a voice of one that spoke. Okay, so Ezekiel saw it. He saw it to write it down for us. Okay. Think about that for the future because we're going to be able to see it and be up there. Okay, let's go to Exodus chapter 24, verse 17. It says, And the sight of the glory of the Lord was like devouring fire on the top of the mount in the eyes of the children of Israel. Okay, there goes that fire again. All right. A devouring fire, man. Okay. Man. <laughs> and I'm going to tell y'all, I think I did a lesson on it a while back. I'm not sure, but this was a couple years back on a day of atonement, right when the sun went down and what I witnessed and what I saw. So Lord willing, I might do that uh, next. Okay. Lord willing. Okay. If the spirit's on me, man, because I got a close up and personal of that level of that heavenly fire, man. I got a close up and personal look. And when I tell you, anyway, I, <laughs> don't get me started about that. My mind, I'm getting all giddy, man, because it was, it was special. I'll say that. Okay, let's go to Matthew chapter 16, verse 27. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels. Okay, the glory of his Father, man. So, Yahweh Shai is coming with the glory of the Father. Okay, a direct extension. Yahweh Shai and the angels coming down here in the chariots, that glory which comes from the Father. Okay, but again, what about actually being up there by his throne, witnessing that, man. Okay? You're going to see all of his glory. You're going to be like, whoa. But you're going to be in your right mind. You're going to be in that heavenly state. You're going to be immortal. You're going to be God's. Okay? His sons forever. Okay? So all the other sons get to see him, starting with Yahweh Shai, like I said, the 24 elder angels, and then on down to all the other angels, man. They round about the throne up there cheering, okay, worshiping, I should say, bowing down, giving reverence, praising the Father, Yahweh. Okay, and those angels are praising Yahweh Shah too, because he came down here, it said he is worthy to be praised. He came down here and did the work and was sacrificed for the nation of Israel. Okay, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh sent Yahweh Shah. And Yahweh Shai sent us to do the work. Now, when we finish, we're going to be glorified with Yahweh Shai, which means we're going to be where he's at. Many mentions up there, okay? Beholding the face of the Father up there. You catch that? All this is going to happen, man, but just the thought of everything that we see and we don't see our beating heart, our breath of life, everything, man. To be able to sit in front of the power that is responsible for all of this, man. I mean, I have no words for that, really. But it's going to happen. Okay. Let's go to Revelations chapter 4, start at verse 1. After this, I looked and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one set on the throne. Okay, so John the Revelator, right? He was in the spirit, all right? And it says a door was opened in heaven. Okay, his eyes were open in the spirit to see the throne of Yahweh. Okay, so Yahweh allowed John to see it. Okay, Yahweh allowed John to see him. Put it that way. Verse 2, and immediately I was in the spirit and behold, a throne was set in heaven and one set on the throne. And he that set was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne in the sight like unto an emerald man. So it was beautiful. 
Okay, so John is witnessing this beauty, this glory of the Father. He's like, whoa, he's seeing it, man. He's seeing him sit on the throne. Think about this. He's seeing Yahweh. Okay. Heaven was open, the doors of heaven. His eyes were open in the spirit, and he's able to actually see Yahweh sitting on the throne. Imagine that sight. Okay. So the father gave him a glimpse, gave him, you know, a scene, man. Let him see. How much more in the kingdom of heaven when we're changed? And there's no evil in us. There's no, there's no evil at all. We're just perfect. <laughs> talk about a different world, man. Okay. Woo, talk about a different world. Let's go to verse 4. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats. Okay. Those are the elder angels. We talk about order. It's Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. The elder angels, the 24 elder angels, and then the rest of the, the sons, okay? Meaning the other angels, man, which are in the millions. And it says, and upon the seats I saw four and 20 elder angels sitting, clothed in white remnant, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. Okay? Come on, man. Okay, and I think, I'm not sure in this chapter or another chapter, the angels... Uh, cast down the, the crown and they bow down okay so imagine that man you have the elder angels up there okay that has a closer seat than the other angels all right within order all right but they're all witnessing the throne they're around the throne imagine how huge man i mean you think about a stadium on our level like a football stadium or something like that think about your biggest stadium you got all these people around, it's like, you know, and they're witnessing something on the field or in the center of the stage, whether it's a fight, sports, whatever, you know. But up there is beyond this, man. Okay, the earth is the Lord's footstool. It's beyond. So, I mean, can't no stadium down here hold millions of people. <laughs> so right there lets you know that it's beyond, man. It's beyond this. Okay. Oh, boy. Let's go into John chapter 17. Start at verse. Uh, let's start at verse 16. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Yahweh Shai is talking about the hopeful elect. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. Right. To do the will. Okay. Did you hear that? He sent us. Yahweh sent Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah sent us. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Right, because we are confessing Yahweh Shah on the earth. And what did I read earlier? If you deny Yahweh Shah, he's going to deny you before the Father. But if you confess Yahweh Shah in sincerity, he shall confess you before the Father, okay? Because he beholds the Father's face, okay? And we will be with him one day, beholding the Father's face, Yahweh, okay? Verse 21, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us. And that's what we are waiting for, for that to be completed, Okay? For that to be completed where it cannot change. Meaning you in there, man. All right. That the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them. Wow. That they may be one, even as we are one. So we are going to be one, which means we will be able to see the father's face. We will be able to see the throne up close and personal. Okay, I'm breaking it down to the spirit, man. Trying to hype you up, man. You know, make you think, man. This is special. Just that one thing is special, man. Let alone everything else that comes with the kingdom of heaven. Okay, but to be able to see, okay, who is responsible for all of this, for all of life, all of this power we see. 
we came out of nowhere, man. We heard talking and walking and smelling. You don't, you don't know how this got put together. You just know you're here. Okay, verse 23. I and them and thou and me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Wow. And you know the father loves your house shy. So let's read that again. And that the world may know. So let's know. Let's understand this, brothers and sisters. That thou hast sent me and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That they may behold my glory which thou hast given me. For thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. Okay, think about that. Okay, that is special. I'm going to go ahead and finish it out. There's only two more verses in this chapter. O righteous Father, the world have not known thee, but I have known thee. And these have known that thou hast sent me. Okay, meaning we believe it. We have received. Our eyes are open. Okay, and that's a special thing, man, because... Without your eyes being open, you can't do nothing. You're just going to be going in circle in darkness, man, and delusion. All right? Last scripture. And I have declared unto them thy name, right, Yahweh, and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. Okay? So being a part of this heavenly family, man, is a huge deal. Okay? When it talks about rest with us until I rise up against to pray, Okay, we got to continue to fight to rest with the body of heaven, even though we're down here. But they are assisting us down here in the spirit. You got to believe it. You got to understand it. Even in this lower state, in this horrible flesh. Okay, but there will come a time where we will be changed and we will be up there. Witnessing the throne, man. Seeing the father, man. Seeing that beautiful white woolly hair. Seeing just the glory man of his existence of his presence up close and personal imagine that energy okay so hopefully that was edifying in the spirit i'm gonna give our praises and honor to yahweh by hashem yahweh shai by hashem raka kodash forgive me spirit to do this video double honor to the elders of great millstone and shalom to your akamath that is doing the truth and sincerity shalom